Okay, let's talk about how to multiply uh, two by two matrices. And we're going to do this particular problem right here as our example. Um, but multiplying matrices, uh, when you're first learning it, can be very confusing. Uh, and over the years, I've seen plenty of math students look like this and be like, uh, confusing, I'm getting the wrong answer. What's going on? Help, help, help. And I understand that. I'm sure I was that way you know, many, many, many years ago um, when I was studying this stuff, okay? But you really, um, you really have to concentrate and focus. So if you're confused on how to multiply two by two matrices, this video is going to clear up that confusion. And we're going to change that look to this look here in a second. Uh, but uh, before we get into how to do this, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over many years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online uh, video-based um, math help programs there is. So whether you're taking a full math course, uh, or you need to take a full math course, or you need help in your current class, my program can help you. So I'll let you be the judge of that. If you want to check it out, I'll leave a link to it in the description of this video. Also, as a math teacher, I'm compelled to stress the importance of taking notes. You have to take great notes. It's just been a rule that I've seen through the decades. Those um, students who take great math notes typically have uh, great math grades, and those students who don't have any notes or poor notes or disorganized notes, you know, their grade reflects that, okay? So if you need to improve your uh, note-taking skills, then do so, okay? It's absolutely critical to your success in math. But in the meantime, you need something to study from. And uh, fortunately, I actually offer great comprehensive detailed notes. So I'm going to leave a link to those in the description of this video. So those would be pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. So for this particular uh, topic here for matrices, you'd want to pick up my algebra two trig notes. But um, let's get into this, okay? And uh, let's go down and first talk about um, matrix multiplication, okay? Like how do we know, can we just multiply any old matrices? No, that's that you cannot, okay? We have to check some things. So here's an example. Let's say I had a two by three uh, matrix, okay? That's rows and columns, right? So that would be two rows and three columns. So something like one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to multiply that by a matrix that's three rows and two columns. So that would be like this, right? Uh one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a, a two by three, two rows, three columns by a one, two, three, three rows, two columns. Okay, so when um, you're dealing with matrix multiplication, the first thing is, is you have to determine, can you actually multiply the matrices? Now, we are dealing with nice two by two matrices here. And what I'm teaching you is going to um, apply in any matrix, okay, three by three. Uh, so we're going to be learning the operation. We just happen to have a two, uh, two by two matrices. But let's just quickly re just review. When you have two matrices and you're trying to find a product, we have to first determine whether we can multiply them. So how do we do that? So here is a two by three matrix, and we're, we're going to try to multiply it by a three by two matrix. You have to look at the inner entries here, okay? We have to look at the column of the first and the row of the second, but it's just easier to kind of see it this way. If these numbers are the same, we have a three and a three. If they're equal, we can multiply. That's the bottom line, okay? So <laughs> a lot of way, different ways we can describe that. But a two by three and a three by two, if these numbers here are the same, okay, we can multiply them. And the answer, okay, the product will be uh, a matrix of this dimension, okay, a two by two, okay? So these two numbers on the outside tell us the dimension or the size of the matrix, okay? So for example, these two matrices here, my answer is going to be a two by two, okay? So it's gonna be like this, like a one, two, three, four. So you should know this going into um, your problems. Plenty of 
little pop quiz questions out there. Your teacher is going to say, multiply these matrices, and you're going to be like struggling. You're going to be like trying to do it, and then you're going to be like mm, angry about it. And your teacher is going to be like, hey, listen, you couldn't even multiply these things. You, you, all you needed to uh, do on your paper is say, you know, you, you know, no, you can't do this, you know, uh, because these numbers are not equal. Okay. So, anyways, stuff that you need to know in advance of doing this problem. All right, now let's get into this um, example. So here's our two by two matrices. So here's um, how you multiply uh, matrices. Okay, once you they can be multiplied, here's the deal. So this position right here, okay, let's just look at this matrix right here. Okay, what is this position of this one? Well, this guy is located in row one, column one. Okay, that is its position. Okay, that's entries in that position. Row one, column one. So our answer here is going to be a two by two. Okay, two by two matrix. The product's going to be two by two. So this position is row one, column one. Okay, this position over here is row one, column two. Remember, these are rows. These are rows this way, and these are columns this way. And then down here we have row two, column one, and this is row two, column two. Okay, so we need to kind of like um, understand you know, how we describe the positions of these various elements. Now, if you already, you know, know that, then that's excellent, okay? Because we have to keep this in mind because this is kind of like our little secret procedure to uh, multiply these guys. Now, here, we're using rows and columns, okay, uh, to get our answer. So, to find the first entry, or to find this position, the entry, the actual uh, product, we're going to be using row one and column one, okay? And we use rows right here. Let me just do it this way. On this first matrix, we're going to be using the rows. On this second matrix, we're going to be using the column, okay? So let's talk about this entry right here, okay? To find the answer for um, this uh, location, okay, this, this uh, top left entry, we're going to be using row one, we're using this row one information and column one right here, okay? So we're going to be doing some stuff with these two, um, this row and this column to get our answer, okay? Now, um, uh, as we go through the, and we get our answer for each one of these entries for our product, down here I would be using row two and column one. So I would switch down here. I'd be using row two and column one and et cetera. Okay, here for example, and I'm going to walk through this again, but I just this needs to be reinforced because it's confusing. To get the answer for this position, I need to use row two, column two. So that's row two. Remember, I'm using the rows of the first always and columns of the second. So row two, and this is column two. All right, obviously, this is row one. This is row two, this is column one, and this is column two. Okay, so hopefully um, you're kind of getting it, but now let's actually, um, you know, uh, walk through how we do this. Okay, so again, for the first matrix, we're going to be using uh, the rows, and the second matrix, we're going to be using the columns. Okay, let's just focus again on that first entry, this one here in this top left, and then we'll do the rest of this problem. So again, to get... Uh, this position, which is in, in row one, column one, we're going to use the rows of the first and the columns of the second. We're going to use the first row and the first column. So how does this work? Well, this is how we do it, okay? So we're going to go one times five, okay? So you, we start kind of like in the beginning. It's kind of like a little line or a train, if you will, or something like that. So I go one times five, and so we're going to write that right here, Okay. Then we're going to add, we're going to always put an addition mark, and then we're going to scoot over and scoot down, okay, to the next number. So that's 3 and 2. So we're going to add 3 plus 2, okay? So 1 plus 5 is 5, uh, plus 3 times 2 is 6. So 5 and 6 is 11. That would be our actual answer in that position, okay? Let's review that because this is confusing. Okay, this time I'll remove everything. And if you understand how to do one, then you could do you could you could figure out how to do um, you know all of them. Okay, all right. So 
let's start again. So uh, we're trying to go for this position, okay? So we're going to be in row one, column one, okay? That's what this position is, row one, column one. So we're going to be using row one, column one. So it's going to be one times five, okay? We're going this way and this way. So it's going to be, we're going to start off from left to right and up to down. So one times five is five, and then we add and we scoot over, okay, to three and two, okay? All right, so if you can do that, then we can do the rest of the problem, right? Now, let's go ahead and show the rest of the problem now. And if this is confusing, it, it definitely is confusing the first time you, you're learning it. And so easy to make a mistake. But here's everything worked out for us, okay? So again, right here, uh, that position of this matrix, okay, this is our answer, is row one, column one. So to get that answer, I had to use row one and column one, okay? So let's just kind of quickly review that again. So one times five is five plus three times two, Okay, is right there. Now, I suggest just writing this out, and then we'll finish up with the final calculations when you're when we're done. Okay, let's go down and let's work on this uh, this entry here. So this position of this entry is what this is row two column one. Okay, so this is in row two column one. So we're going to use row two column one. Okay, so that's zero times five is zero times five right there. We're going to add that to negative two times two, which is right there. Okay, remember, we go this way and this way, and then we move over and move down. So negative two times two, and it's right there, okay? All right, so let me erase that, okay? And probably most of you out there are like, oh, okay, I get this, and that's good that you get it, but here's the thing. It's uh, understanding it and actually doing it in practice it's two different things because you can really just, it's like driving a car or something. You could take your eye off the road and, and uh, you know, make a, an error, okay? <laughs> so you got to be uh, really, really in a high state of concentration when you're doing this work. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, do this one here. So what position is uh, this uh, entry in this matrix here? Well, that is in row one, column two. So I'm going to be using row one, column two's information. And let's go ahead and go through it. So that's one times one is right there, plus three times four. Remember, I'm moving down right there. Okay, now I'm setting all this up. I'm obviously going to clean it up when um, I, you know, uh, for my final answer. But I'm not going to concentrate on doing that arithmetic until I get all these, you know, entries, you know, I'll use all the right rows and columns. So our last one is going to be what? That's going to be in row two, column two. So I got to use row two, column two. So let's go through it again. That's zero times one. Is okay. This right here is in row two, column two. Zero times one plus negative two times four. Remember, I'm going down this way and I'm indexing, going to the next number and I'm going down one. So negative two times four is ne uh, negative two times four right there. Okay. And now um, we simply clean this up. So 5 plus 6 is 11, and then we got 1 plus 12 is 13, and 0 plus a negative 4 is negative 4, and this is 0, and this is negative 8. And there we go. There is the product, okay, of uh, those uh, 2 by 2 uh, matrices. And this procedure um, is how you do matrix multiplication for any matrices, okay? Remember, uh, the main thing is just understanding... Uh, these positions, okay? So whether you have, if we had a um, a two by three down here would be what? This would be row three, column one. Uh, this would be row three, column two. So you would just use these respective rows and columns, just as we did here, uh, for whatever dimension um, matrix that you might be dealing with, okay? But again, uh, first things first, always check to see if you can actually um, find the product so you don't end up, you know, like this guy and like, ah, I had to do all that work for nothing. Oh boy, I tell you, it's such a joy being a math teacher in that chap matrices chapter. And I just give warning after warning. I tell students, hey, listen, be on alert, really take strong notes, be super neat. You know, all these things that your uh, teachers uh, say to you, they mean something because they know, you know, um, I know way, way back 
when I was studying this stuff before I really got serious about math, I was sleep, uh, sloppy, but probably sleepy too. <laughs> sloppy, sleepy, unorganized. I wasn't like, I wasn't really in the game, if you will, right? At this level of math, if you're really going to learn it, okay, uh, you have to be fully committed to it. Okay, so watching math is not the same thing as you knowing it. You have to practice this stuff. Okay, so hopefully this video helped you out. And if it did, please consider smashing that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, also consider subscribing. I'm posting new stuff like all the time. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of math videos uh, that are there for you. Obviously, I'm very passionate about teaching math. So uh, those are some resources. But if you want my best stuff, then um, check out the resources in the description of this video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.